Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we're getting it all in the platforming game, Dojo Ryan. This was developed by Nortlander Studio, published by Rattleica Games, and is available for just $4.99 usually, but it's on sale for $3.99 right now, and maybe in the future too. So, we play as El Frogo, i.e. Kermit the Frog, who seems to have lost his way getting back to Miss Piggy. Uh, awesome music, by the way, in the introduction here. Uh, but as is the norm, we need to get through every level, platforming our way through, and not dying. Now, you die if you get hit once, unless you have a fly with you, but a little bit more on that later. There are a few checkpoints during levels, so it's really not too difficult at all. But it is a decent platformer for what it is, and we can get all achievements in around 15 minutes. Now, we have to kill two certain enemies, a slug and a bird. Collect a talisman on each level, which are very easily found. Collect 150 coins, die 25 times, uh, pretty much a normal for this type of rat like a platformer, but still, rather easy and nothing too frustrating. Oh, and we only have to play 5 levels, which is pretty much a bonus. So, let's get Kermit home then, shall we? And with all that being said then, let us begin. So, let us press the start button right now, slot 1 or 2 or 3, whichever you decide. And we can begin straight away. Press the start button there to get rid of the cutscene. Uh, we don't need to be watching this. So Kermit's put on some weight, but that's okay. So we're going to press the A button to jump and obviously left stick to move. We're going to get an achievement right away here for collecting the first coin. And I'm going to show you how, what not to do. <laughs> but basically, if you get too close to uh, underneath spikes, by the time you jump, you will actually die. So you need to give yourself a little bit of leverage, like so. Just make sure you're not too close to being underneath the spikes. Just a little bit of warning. Here's the checkpoint then. So these kind of cup looking things. They are the um, checkpoints. So obviously every time you die, you get uh, back to the checkpoint. With the apple, if you press the A, then the X button, and then the A button again, that basically gives you a double jump. And you can only do it when you have the apple. So... Again, it's sort of easy enough to get used to, so just jump once, then the X button, then press the A button again, and that'll give you the double jump. That there was the first, <laughs> there was the first talisman that we just found as well. Uh, by the way, uh, crap edit because I died a bunch of stupid times there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so a lot going on there in the first two and a half minutes. Uh, we got bouncy mushrooms. This is the fly that I was talking about, so we get an achievement for it. What you're supposed to do is use the apple to get across, but obviously balls that one up, like I do. So the fly basically gives us, like, an extra hit, more or less. So, obviously, if you don't have the fly, you will die in one hit, and just go back to the checkpoint. And here, finally, is the end of level one. <gasps> now I can breathe, finally! It's been so long! Uh, so... Starting off at level 2 then, obviously, you know, it is quite an, e an easy platform as they usually are. Um, obviously, avoid the spikes and everything. But no, we can potentially chill out. So, always worth collecting as many coins as you can. You don't have to collect every single coin. Uh, but it's always worth collecting as many as you can. So, we jump on the slug here, that's going to get us the Slug Hunter achievement, which makes us feel badass because, uh, you know, Fat Kermit and everything. Not the fat Kermit has anything to do with anything, but uh, go ahead, grab the fly anyway. Always worth grabbing the fly as well, just to be on the safe side, because spikes can come out and spike you in your ass without you even knowing. Oh, like now. But that was me being <laughs> extremely stupid again. Um, otherwise, like I said, it does become... <laughs> look at his face. So, yeah, easy enough to do then. Uh, so, you can just jump across. If you try and jump across, you won't get the double jump, but that should be fine. If you head down here, we'll, we'll get the second talisman. Um, obviously, we don't get no achievement for this one, but we get an achievement for collecting all five talismans as well, so that's why it's worth putting the checkpoint in first before getting the talisman. Otherwise, it's always worth now just jumping straight across and, you know, loving life. So jump, so jump down slightly here and then give yourself the apple of life. I Die, and I'm only showing you this death because we get the Death Keeper achievement unlocked as well. Uh, so again, just a couple of, you know, a little, a few sections may take one or two attempts to get through. But generally it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, we drop down and then we can now just jump across. And we should now be coming up to the end of Chapter 2. So there it is. Delicious stuff. 
So, on to level three, I say. Kermit, for some reason, he's also chubby and blind, so he must be uh, comfort eating from being blind, I suppose. Um, maybe. I just comfort eat anyway, and I'm <laughs> not blind. I'm just a fat ass. So, jump up then. Again, grab the fly. Always worth grabbing the fly. And we've got a new type of platform, one of those spinny boys. You know, you should know what a spinny boy is. We've done them in plenty of platforming games by now. Again, try and collect every coin that you can. It's not... It's not vital that you collect every single coin, but, you know, definitely worth it since we need to collect 150 of the little bastards. So, jump up, obviously, just being careful. You can get quite close to a spike without dying, but obviously don't take the PS. And just carefully jump down, though, we should be okay. Now, with this one, you'll have to use the apple very quickly as soon as you jump across. And here's the third talisman, as you can just see at the bottom of the screen there. So, jump onto the wall, and then jump to the left again. And that'll keep us going. Boink. And we also get another achievement there. That is for actually collecting three of the five talismans. Uh, so if you um, go back to the main menu, it'll basically tell you which talisman you've got in each level. Mind the spike right here when you go down. And then jump across using the apple again. Be careful not to obviously fall into the spikes. That would always help, you know, not getting a spike up your butt. Because, man, that, that hurts. Uh, just wait until the slug goes to happy. So he's a happy little character. Until we just killed him, of course. So yeah, as you can see on the bottom there, you'll see if you've collected a talisman in each level, how many deaths you've got and how many coins you've got. So we've got 109 uh, coins. Haven't got the talisman, of course, in level 4. That's what we're going on to next. And we've only died 10 times so far. All very stupid deaths of me, but still. It's what we need. So, level 4 then. We've only got this and level 5 left to do. So again, it's just jumping across. I never actually went into the water, but I assume it's bad, so don't go into the water. Now, you'll have to jump uh, relatively early with those um, moving platforms from left to right. Mind the spike again. And just keep on going to the left. Here is the bird hunter achievement we're going to get. Just jump on the bird's head. Man, that is just unfortunate. What an unfortunate death. And all he wanted to do was just chill out as well. But unfortunately, we've got achievements to get. Fat Kermit is hungry. So, jump to the right, go over to the mushrooms, just jump all the way as far right as you can so you can get to the other side. Grab this fly because it's always worth doing and try not to do what i done and jump straight out onto the spikes. Now we're going to get a fourth talisman, so grab the apple here and jump back to the left. And then you'll have to obviously do the double jump trick, the AXA trick, to jump up, grab the fourth talisman. Beautiful. Same goes here then, so you'll have to actually have to double jump across, rather than just use the apple to move across once. When we get onto this platform, jump up to the left hand side wall as soon as this bird ass goes away. There we go. So just go all the way up to the top so he doesn't die and you should be okay to get onto the next platform. Uh, could be random where those birds are for you, but again, still relatively easy as cheesy. So with this one, jump early so you can get to the other side quicker and then mind the spike. And then wait for bird ass, bird's eye fish finger head to nip onto the other side. That'll be level 4 done, so now it's level 5. The final level before we get every single achievement. And I only need two more coins to get, as you can see there. Now with this one, I, <laughs> I do show this death. These spikes are obviously timed as usual, so just wait until the first spike goes and then nip across. So again, easy to avoid, but also very easy to miss. So you just have to be very careful, um, just in case you, you know, get your ass spiked. Again, not very good for that one. So wait until the spikes move, and then we can jump up on this massive fist. Ouch, my heel glands! And <laughs> wait to be fisted once again. Or a fist in here. So double jump, AXA, with the uh, apple. Jump across to the other side, and we're at a checkpoint now, which is nice. So you can grab both coins if you want. Wait until the spike moves on, and then jump up. Almost. I <laughs> got lucky with that one there, but grab the fly. And just go ahead, jump on Slug-Headed's face. Face. Again, wait until the spike goes across. Job done. And then jump at the mushroom when the spike's already gone. I actually messed this one up. Somehow. Somehow. And wait until both spikes are good before you go across, and then you can jump up. Head down to the bottom right-hand corner, and this is where we will get the... 
fifth and final talisman and our achievement talisman collector again very original and very well thought of unique um, achievement titles in this game spiky boy there slug there again watch out for the spike in the middle again wait for the spikes to go and then jump down wait for the spikes to go jump across wait for the spikes to go jump across and you should be okay the one on the left won't shoot anymore and there we go. So that is all five levels complete. We do have to die a number of 25 times. So if you have not died 25 times, um, well, just wait to level six, jump into the spikes. And sadly, we couldn't get Kermit home. So Miss Piggy is just going to have to sort herself out, isn't she? I mean, there's plenty of Muppets to go around. Um, you know, Cookie Monster. Oh, that Cookie Monster has a real good time. Unless the cookie is like a drug, then Miss Piggy don't do no cookie drugs, man. Oh, not yet. She hasn't been out with the cookie monster. But we will soon see. Anyway, this will be that then, guys and gals. So hopefully you enjoyed the game as much as you could. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well and that it was as helpful as could be. Uh, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe and share it with a friend or family member as well if it did help. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. Just absolutely massive, huge, huge thanks. And a big thanks to everyone who continues to support the channel regardless. But that's it from me then, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big love.